Every day, Old Brooklyn gets up and goes to work. But sometimes going to work becomes that much harder. Sometimes just the day-to-day -day becomes that much harder. And sometimes harder can last a lot longer than we thought it was going to. What we thought was going to be a few weeks turned out to be an entire year with no end in sight. So early on in COVID, we closed the business for about six weeks. Um, and at the time, uh, no one really knew what was gonna happen. And it seemed like the right thing to do uh, for the safety of our, our staff and for the community. During this pandemic, it was a challenge because uh, everybody was trying to, to survive. COVID has impacted our business tremendously because we weren't allowed to open up for two months. So those two months, my team and I really struggled being that this is what we do for a living to feed our families. But old Brooklyn continues to find a way to go to work. When Wall Street was prioritized over Main Street, OBCDC got to work and used its rainy day funds to support small businesses. Emergency funding applications elsewhere took months. We reached out our hands within days. We connected students studying tech with businesses needing it to survive. Old Brooklyn decided that Main Street will forever matter and it will emerge stronger than it was before. With your support, all of us in Old Brooklyn took responsibility to show why our neighborhood is the place to grow. From volunteering to help with Meals on Wheels, to organized drives supporting takeout at local restaurants, we stepped up, you stepped up. From social media love to grants, Old Brooklyn and OBCDC showed up. OBCDC uh, did a great job contacting us, seeing what we needed. They offered some grant dollars to help us get uh, some social distancing items in our office. Uh, we installed at our counter a uh, glass uh, plastic panel to separate our customers from my staff. I'm working with uh, Old Brooklyn Community Development because they have grants uh, to help us during this pandemic. Um, uh, I will use that grant for uh, a website, some sign outside, uh, maybe a better uh, sign with the name of Sabor Miami. The CDC offered um, several grants and so we were fortunate enough to be able to take advantage of that opportunity. Um, the first grant was for physical distancing and so what we added were the planter boxes that you see on our picnic tables and that really kind of helps to separate and also beautify the patio, but keeping groups a little bit more separate in a natural way. COVID grant from the Old Brooklyn CDC was instrumental because it allowed us to uh, purchase PPE. At the first onset of the COVID-19 crisis, everything was so expensive. Those um, disposable masks, those were 50 bucks a mask. And at the time, people were not used to carrying the mask around. So we, had, we gave out probably five or six of those boxes within the first month, which equates to 300 plus dollars. The grant that we got from the CDC helped us in a phenomenal way. We actually were able to take the funds that we got from that and just completely redo everything we did uh, from our day to day, whether we just had a bunch of sandy wipes here to clean every single surface that we had and sprays to spray down our bicycles, all the way to opening up a new web store. We actually changed a lot of our stuff onto the online store. So you can literally buy, do online pickup, uh, deliveries and everything through our services online. So we set up an e-commerce store and then we also had our bicycles on there. So we did a lot of social media with the funding. We did a lot of advertising with that. Our future is still uncertain, but because of our neighbors, belief in a better tomorrow and our community, the future is filled with hope.